Today's video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, but we'll talk about them a little bit later on. Today, we're getting into my autumn capsule wardrobe. Over the years, I've tried to fit in. I've tried to not stand out too much. And over time, I realized that this was just not really me. I never used to express myself through fashion or what I was wearing. I just simply wanted to not stand out so that I wouldn't draw too much attention to myself. So today I'm sharing with you my capsule wardrobe, but I'm also sharing how many times I've worn these clothes over the past few years. I wanna show you that when you value your clothes and you wear them again and again, then they just give you so much more value. This is one of my favorite things that I'm wearing at the moment, which is a Carhartt dungarees. I went for pink because you can see in the background, I'm just a gray, white, black kind of gal. So I really wanted to try something a little bit new, especially since they're so incredibly versatile. Of course, an autumn capsule wardrobe would not be complete without a pair of jeans. A jeans that you can wear and do anything in. And I like a darker color just because, well, I just feel like they're, they're flattering. I also absolutely love this blue shirt. I got it secondhand while it was my mum's. I just think it's really beautiful. The next thing is, of course, a raincoat. I've had this raincoat since 2016 and it was quite expensive, but I decided I wanted to invest in something that would last me hopefully a lifetime. I actually need to give it a bit of a wash, but yeah, I love this coat. And if you live in somewhere as rainy as London like me, then you would definitely need a raincoat too. Now, this is one of the jackets I've had again for several years and I'm really picky when it comes to coats and things that I want to have for a long time because if I go for something that I know I'll love for years then I really will get as much value out of it as possible. I really love this coat. I wear it throughout winter and autumn and I just layer underneath if I want it to be a little bit warmer when it is starting to get a little chillier. Now this puffer jacket is something I have been looking for for years and I finally found one secondhand in 2019 when I went thrift shopping in DC. The zipper has broken which I need to fix but I just, I love it. Okay, this is probably the most colourful thing that you're going to see in my wardrobe and I bought this back in 2014 when I was living in Michigan for my year abroad. It's a windbreaker and to be honest I mostly just wear it for cycling but you never know, maybe one day I'll feel bold enough just to wear it out. This is my granny's cardigan. Before I had it, it was about 20 years old. So this is definitely the oldest thing that I own. And this was one of the things I wanted to add to my wardrobe just to make it a little bit more interesting, to finally start to express myself and to have patterns and color. And once I realized how wonderful cardigans were, I found this one in my parents' attic, which was from my university days. And I remember asking you guys in one video whether you thought I should keep it or whether I should get rid of it. And you all said that I should keep it and I'm so glad that I did. I had a video that I did where I said that I didn't even own one cardigan anymore. And I'm so glad that I have refound them because I just love a cardigan. I also love this jumper. Again, of course, I thrifted it. It's a nice grandpa style jumper. I think it was only a few dollars, but you can see I'm really trying to add some more patterns into my life which is why, of course, I have to include my, my ugly jumper for this one as well. I love this jumper so much, even though it is grey, it was one of my first steps into trying to be a bit more interesting, I guess, a bit more individual with the clothes that I wore and my taste. I started to really feel more confident in myself and my choices, and it's interesting how when we don't feel particularly confident, we just try to blend in. And then as soon as we feel a little bit more self-assured, we start to wear whatever we want. And this Michigan jumper is something that I got again on my year abroad, but it holds so much meaning for me. And the lucky thing is I love it still and I wear it all the time. And that's the same that goes for this Pepsi jumper. I love this jumper. You guys know I love this jumper. I wear it all the time throughout autumn and winter, mainly just around the house or if I'm going to exercise. But just buying something that you adore, however ugly it is to other people, is all that really matters. As long as we wear things again and again and again. 
The same goes for this high neck black sleeveless top. Again, it's thrifted and I think it's so versatile because it can go underneath something. It's a little bit too thick for summer even though it is sleeveless, but I love the way that the high neck can come up when you're wearing a jumper on top. And I also have a skirt that I bought. I know it's black and white, but this is my, I don't know, step into trying to wear some more feminine clothes or some more clothes that aren't just a pair of jeans <laughs> because we all know that I can dress quite androgynous and I do like that style but I do also like to, I don't know, wear dresses and skirts occasionally so this is kind of a perfect summer into autumn style skirt because you can put a jumper over it like I am with this black one that I've had again for years or you can put tights on and wear it with boots it's just something that I think I'm really getting into long skirts. I love this white t-shirt. I have had this again for years and then I thrifted. And this is I think an important thing to note when you do go thrifting. You don't want to buy any old shit just because it's really cheap or you don't want to buy stuff that's not your size. You want to really be looking for value as well. You don't want to just be buying stuff willy-nilly. Thrift hauls are just as unsustainable, especially if you're not going to wear those clothes. I love this grey jumper. We know I'm a fan of the grey jumper. This is a little bit softer and a little bit nicer than my Pepsi jumper. And it's just a, a very simple, very plain one, but it's a nice layer when as the evenings are getting cooler. I don't think I've seen, I don't think I've shown you this before. This is like a play suit that I wear. It's one of two outfits that I wear to go out in anymore. And of course you can wear this uh, during the day as well. Just You can dress it down with sandals or with trainers. And this is my other going out outfit, which you guys have definitely seen before, this black dress. And you guys are actually the, one of the reasons why I decided to keep this. I wasn't quite sure about it because I just, I guess I just didn't feel confident in it. I didn't feel like it suited me. But I love it. I really love it and I wear it all the time. I even wore it to my 30th birthday dinner and everyone said I looked really nice. So I'm pleased I found something that really suits my shape. Another jacket I forgot to mention at the beginning is this white shell one that I have for kind of hiking and camping and going on dog walks and things like that. And as you can see, I've used it on many trips. When my boyfriend and I went on the Appalachian Trail when we went to Scotland last year. It's just such a versatile and really great shell to, to layer things under. And of course I've got my Grin bag. I wear this all the time and I love this bag. I've had it for a few years now and it's just, it's really doing well. Now when it comes to boots, as I said before, it is super rainy and I always wear these ones. They're from the same company I got my raincoat from and they are lasting pretty damn well. I just want to take a small break to say thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content, manage your members and send email communications and leverage audience insights. I love creating a community over on Squarespace because I can use their fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies and likes. So if you're interested, head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash sustainably vegan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I still wear my sandals in the winter because, well, I'm the kind of person who does not mind a sock and sandal situation. And I also have my secondhand bun stones that I've had, again, for several, several years. I hope at the end of this video you kind of realise that I really love to choose things that I will love for years and years and years. And I want to be investing, if I ever do buy new, in something that's going to be at least a 10 year, 10 year period of owning and wearing and loving that item. I love thrifting and I want to make sure that we're all thrifting as sustainably as possible. So I only choose the things that I absolutely love. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very, very soon.